puts both of his hands on the staff and he said, I said, and he hits it. And that authority is what we are talking about that can only be released by an apostolic decree. The authority must be given. And that's why I revealed what we heard tonight. So is that clear? Thank you. So please stand up with us. So if you can stand because you're standing in authority, because you're all kings and priests and all of us, we're an apostolic people. So as an apostolic team with the authority that God's given to us, we decree and declare that racism will end. It's over in the ecclesia from this night forward in Jesus mighty name. Let's lift it up and bang it. (laughs) Hallelujah. Come on, give him a praise over Amen. 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 I'm sorry. We did it twice. We need one more. One more. We need you to agree with us. Okay. On the count of three. On three. Shout with us. One, two, three. Thou shalt not pass. In the name of Jesus Christ. most impartation that you've ever believed for right now you're going to impart to each other so you're going to take it you're going to put it on somebody else's head a watch and then say more lord Whoa! more lord everybody place place that anointing that crown that gift upon someone else's head Keep praying. Every single one of you, impartation, legacy, 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 legacy. Increase your glory. More, Lord. Try it again. Try it again. Try it again. Try it again. More, Lord. Fire. There's fire. Place it on their heads. Find somebody. I think he's got it. Shake up, Baba. Fire. Place it on another one's head. Fire. Shh. Legacy. Legacy. The greatest thing you've ever seen in your life. Prophesy over them ten times. Start to prophesy over it ten times. What I've seen, let it be. Ten times what I've seen, let it be. Ten times what I've seen, let it be. Believe for it ten times. Let it rain indoors, Lord. Let it rain once again. Let a fresh outpouring of your Holy Spirit come. Touch every hungry heart and every non-hungry heart. (laughs) You know this is true. You get hungry by eating. So I'm going to ask him to force feed. Holy Spirit, come, I ask. Come. Now, Lord, I pray for just an increase of an outpouring of your presence, your fire, upon every person in this room, I pray right now. Set us up, Lord God, for a season, a season of encounters with you that change everything. I need to pray for those who actually feel fiery presence on you right now, just a that fiery presence of the Lord, or you can't help but weeping. You can't keep yourself from weeping. I, I want those of you that have that kind of unusual manifestation, your hands are trembling. It's something that you can't control. I want those to come to the front right now. We're going to start praying with those that God is touching in that unique way. Just come quickly right now if that's you. That fire of His presence is already touching you. There's that 
trembling, that shaking, that weeping that's taking place cometh power upon these even now in Jesus' name. Increase, increase, Lord, that fiery presence even now. A fresh baptism of fire even now. A fresh baptism of fire even now. A fresh baptism of fire even now. A fresh baptism of fire, Lord God, increase this even now. Come, Lord, increase this even now. A fresh baptism of fire. Come, Lord, increase this even now. Increase this even now. A fresh baptism of fire. A fresh mighty baptism. A fresh mighty baptism. More Lord. More Lord. I think there's two things you can do proactively to build that sense of awareness. The first one is to pray in tongues. Pray a lot. Paul said he prayed more than all. And, uh, and the word he used there is, I pray more than all of you combined. In other words, he was saying, listen, if you knew what I was going through, you'd understand why I pray in tongues all the time. And, and really, that was the whole case, is that spiritual language. It's, that it's learning to stay connected to the Holy Spirit. It's not, it's not something taking over our body. It's, a, it's the willful use of a prayer language that God gives us. If you don't have, just ask him because he's really generous with this gift. It goes to every, anyone who wants it. Just don't sweat to get it. It comes much easier. So this gift, this praying in the spirit is a huge part of our life. It's supposed to be a huge part of our life because it's the one gift given that is for us. All the other gifts are f enabling us to serve well the people around us. But praying in the spirit is something that edifies and strengthens us. What does it do? It connects me to the spontaneous because it bypasses my understanding. I don't know what I'm praying. After a while, you start to, you start to pick up. You start praying in the spirit of it. You start picking up the kinds of areas that God is moving your heart in. You start discerning things. But what's happening is the Lord is he's training us how to live in the spontaneous, not so that we avoid reason, not so that we avoid uh, uh, understanding or intellectual approach to things. I think that's vital. I think we're supposed to have understanding of things. But it doesn't do me a whole lot of good to have great understanding and not hear his voice, not be able to be moved with the presence and the Spirit of God. More Lord! Ten times. You will rebuild. You will rebuild the ancient ruins. Okay. And I, this will kind of probably offend you, but oh well. And the Holy Spirit to me is like the genie from Aladdin. I view the Holy Spirit like the genie from Aladdin. And he's blue. Unplanned, perfect. And he's funny. And he's sneaky. And he's courageous and he's everywhere and he's wonderful. That's who he is to me. And he's funny and he's sneaky. <laughs> he's silly. He's wonderful. And I view him like the genie from Aladdin. <laughs> I don't know where in my life that just kind of like came up. Maybe when I was like 10, I don't know, but because he's there, you know, <laughs> and he's, he's the helper and he's just always supportive and comforting and he's just fun. And he's blue. Ah, okay, hold on. Good point, good color. You just put it on the next person. And you say ten times, ten times, ten times, ten times, ten times, ten times.
said, my words to you are spirit and they are life. This is stunning to me because he says, let me put it this way. Here's Jesus, the word of God made flesh. And now when he speaks, the word of God is made spirit. Something happens when you find the heartbeat of God and you speak it. But that, that statement is made. Suddenly, there is a sense of presence that you're not alone. What just happened? Words became spirit, and that spirit gives life. You have more than words. You have more than a message. You have more than a concept. You have more than a spiritual argument. You have a person resting upon you that longs to be released into the environment because you are saying what the Father is saying. You are the ones that are on the edge of being able to influence culture, thought life, atmosphere, attitude. Mindsets are changed by how you speak, what you think, what you say, how you live. You in, infect in a godly sense, infect atmosphere so that transformation can take place.